Hello, my name is Kim Sauer. I'm at Apex 2015 and I'm joined by three gentlemen from uh, Fuji. So I've got um, Shun and Isaki from um, Fuji Japan yes. yep. and Tom Z from Fuji America. Welcome to America. We're you know in sunny um, San Diego. Um, can I start with you, Isaki, about yes. the business environment? So yes. what, what's going on in, okay. in the business? So let me talk about uh, our market a little bit. So our market, SMT market, had a little bounced, and now it is rather active market. And uh, if we look at uh, the applications, so uh, like communication equipment like a smartphone, also active. But uh, not only the smartphone business, the automotive uh, market is very much active. And also the general industry wise, it is also active. It means that generally speaking, our market is active. And then so the uh, geographically, so the Asia market is good. But not only the Asia, if we look at the Americas, for example, the Mexico market is very much active, very hot market, good market for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so lots of activity going on, which is really, really positive. And I suppose there are lots of lessons to be learned out of that to, to be able to then adapt your, your um, solutions and offerings to that. So, um, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what those um, learning curves are? Sure, sure. I think... Uh, you know, Fuji addresses the low-volume, high-mix, the high-volume, low-mix, the mid-volume, mid-mix markets. I mean, we're in all the markets now. Our solutions are in a very, very flexible world, as you know. And basically addressing those markets has taught us a lot. By addressing these markets, we've learned about accuracy, we've learned about new technologies, we've learned about automating the back end of the factory, the manual insertion process. So these are, these are lessons that come to us, obviously, on a day-to-day -day basis because of the large EMS and automotive companies that Isaki had referred to. And continuing to address those markets continues to educate us. And, and as customers get into the, uh, the automation of their factory, obviously that education is very, very important. Mm. So. Which then obviously also has um, impacts on, on the manufacturing environment. And Shun, so the, the, how have you adapted that environment to, to cope with those, you know, the learning curves that you've been talking about, Tom, and, and the general positivity in the market? Okay. Um, uh, the first of all, uh, that there is uh, so many key issues, uh, key points uh, to be improved uh, in the manufacturing areas. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, inventory management, and then real-time uh, supply chain management, and then uh, the, we call it uh, uh, engineering loop, the, the, the value chain sub management, and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Uh, uh, the regionalization uh, in the manufacturing has been uh, coming uh, the, uh, through and then uh, recent data uh, shows us uh, the single factory to the market has been shifted. Uh, the, the factory uh, in the region uh, such as uh, um, Brazil, uh, Vietnam, um, Indonesia, and uh, Mexico and Thailand um, they are driving uh, the, the uh, how say uh, the manufacturing environment changing. I mean, uh, the from uh, mass production uh, to uh, uh, less production, like uh, a production on demand, and then also uh, to sustain uh, a shorter uh, time to market environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are all developments that um, you know fit into the smart factory. Um, Industry 4.0 is what um, the, the, the Germans would call it as well. Mm -hmm. And it is exactly those points that you raised, the, the time to market and the full traceability within mm -hmm. the manufacturing environment. Mm -hmm. uh, um, digitalization, like you mentioned, is, sure. is driving that. So um, what sort of solutions um, are you working on or have you already got that will cope with those demands of today but also the demands of tomorrow um, yeah uh, let me uh, try to answer that uh, good, uh, questions um, uh, we are now uh, the, uh, trying to uh, supply a uh, uh, smart factory uh, I mean that the factory of the future concept to the market yeah. that uh, we are heading uh, to supply system uh, to manage the entire process uh, between uh, the material in and the products out. Um, the, the cancellation of a loss uh, caused by a technical gap, technology gap, 
uh, is a one of a key uh, uh, critical point uh, for the, the, the uh, manufacturers. Um, the loss uh, caused by technical technology gap um, uh, has an impact, a critical impact on uh, the cost. And then, while uh, the, the cost reduction is uh, the key uh, concerns uh, between uh, the SMT customers, SMT, SMT companies. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um, so, th so there are obviously new products that you have to come out with and new technologies. So, what is it that you're working on? To, if I just ask you, Tom. Sure, sure. Well, I think to, to address uh, Shun's approach and Fuji's approach, not only the industry, uh, Industry 4.0, Factory of the Future, Smart Factory, all-in-one solution. You know, Fuji has been in that environment for a long time, and now even more so, uh, as we address the one, the the uh, single solution. We address it on a broader scale, but we also address it on the smaller line scale with our channel partners, having the capabilities of screen printing to AOI, to pick and place, to mm -hmm. reflow. You know, the all-in-one solution is what the customer is looking for in that environment, but more importantly, the whole software enterprise solution. That's really what it takes to encompass this regionalization and localization that Shun's talking about. Uh, the time to market, NPI, being able to launch a factory, uh, being able to launch a product quicker and get it to market to catch the, catch the window of mm -hmm. opportunity obviously is critical. So mm -hmm. I would say the software enterprise system, our capability to integrate uh, chip placement with semiconductor placement and die attach uh, is all very, very important. So mm -hmm. these are all the key factors uh, of how they all contribute to, to the information you're hearing here. Yeah, and we're, we're talking about the Internet of Things, big data, and uh, we like to call it the Internet of Manufacturing, because sure. there's that, that big, wide unknown, sure. um, but for a manufacturing environment, you know, you, ne you need an Internet, and be able to deal with the volume of data that um, sure. all of this is going to generate. Um, and the, the solution that you were talking about, the software solution, sure. is, is something that, you know, is good for traceability up and down the line. Tying it back with what you were saying about the, um, you know, the, the, the positivity within the market. Um, just finally, if you could say a couple of words to, to the future, near future, maybe midterm future, are you seeing those developments continuing, those positive developments? Yeah, I think so. So the, everything goes to the total automation system, the, not only the, the our equipment, but also to connect to the other equipment and also the customer's database, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So the, to, I mean, the total solutions will come, so we will do that. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us um, here and um, wish you lots of success here at the show at Apex, but also for um, all your solutions and developments within Fuji. Thank you, Ken. We appreciate thank your time. Thank, thank you, you very much. much.